Hi everybody, hope you're all well and having a good week. Um, it's half term week for us and I'm honestly I'm climbing the walls. No, not really. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. I, I was strapped for something to do and I was going through my cupboards and I found this. And I wondered, do any of you do uh, bread packets in your air fryers? Um, this is a sourdough recipe and do any of you cook um, or bake rather um, sourdough from scratch like proper sourdough because I wouldn't mind having a go at that um, if you do um, do sour your own sourdough let me know and but how do you do it I mean I've kind of got a vague feeling you've got to get something like a or a starter in order to, to make it um, and this is actually out of date <laughs> excuse me <coughs> oh croaky voice croaky voice a bit of a frog in the throat let me just look at the date. So yeah, it's March 2023. Ooh, can you see that? And I thought, oh, I'm not going to get rid of that. I'm going to use it. So I thought, why not make it for the channel? Um, yeah. Should I have a quick look at the um, all the, uh, the the blurb? Um, just see if you can see. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can read that. Uh, yeah it's quite simple um chuck it in a bowl with 25 grams butter or margarine um 320 mils of water and you kind of mix the marge stroke butter uh, i'm going to be using marge because that's the cheaper option um and i think this actually cost me a pound because i did buy it ages ago it's probably one pound 20 now uh, maybe a pound 20 i can't actually remember but it was around a pound um yeah stick it in a bowl and then you know you know the rest bread, bread is pretty standard but yeah I, I was quite curious to try it and even though it's out of date hey ho <laughs> don't want to waste it so when i say come and look at the ingredients there's literally just water and marsh we're just going to get straight into it i'm going to put you on the wall and we're going to bung this in the bowl um, along with the marge and then the water and mix and then knead <laughs> nice and easy so see you in a minute okay i'm going to chuck it in a bowl i'm going to try it won't come out so i've got clean hands so I'm meant to rub this marge stroke butter into the um, flour. It says until it resembles breadcrumbs, but I mean, uh, it feels like there's not enough butter to do that, but I, perhaps there is. Can't be wrong, can it? Rubbing the marge anyway, in this case. I know a lot of you might say, oh, you should use butter, but for cost purposes, I've got to use Marge because it's the cheaper option. So I'm just reading the instructions. It says then, so you've obviously mixed the flour until the mixture res resembles breadcrumbs. Then gradually add the water. Mix together with your hands until the dough is well combined. Bring the dough together into a bowl. to do this one-handed <laughs> I'll do it like that put it down
Right, let's put that on a flowered surface and start to knead it. It does say to knead for 20 to 25 minutes, which is a, quite a long time in kneading, the kneading world, I think. But hey ho. It's quite, a, well, I don't know if it's boring or therapeutic, I can't decide. So I've been kneading off camera for about 10 minutes plus the 10 minutes roughly on and off the camera. So I've been kneading 20 minutes approximately. So I'm going to put it in the, I've oiled this boil quickly, put it in that, stick my shower cap on top um, and leave it to rise. It's a shame it's not sunny today otherwise I'd have put it out in the sun. There you go, shower cap on. Uh, yeah, that's in. I'm gonna let it rise, give it an hour. Um, I don't know how, how long it said actually on the recipe, let's have a look. I'll clear up the kitchen. So, um, mix it over, yeah. Return the dough to the bowl, cover with a clean damp towel cling film, set it aside for one to one and a half hours in a warm place until the dough has doubled in size. Okay, an hour, an hour and a half roughly. Let's see how it is coming back. Ooh, where is it? <laughs> see you in a bit. Right, so it says, uh, where are we? Um, when the dough has risen, return it to a floured work surface and knock it back. Um, to shape into the bloomer, flatten the dough into a rectangle with the long side facing you. Fold each end in the middle, then roll like a swish roll so that you have a smooth top with a seam along the base. Very gently roll with the heel of your hands. Place on a tray lined with parchment paper, cover and leave to proof for one to two hours at room temperature or until doubled in size. So I'm gonna do that with the, I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna split it in half, put one in uh, the Ninja and one in the Kasori. It'd be interesting to see how they turn out. Um, this is obviously for a, um, a it's got oven, instructions only so we're gonna <laughs> uh yeah i kind of just lower it slightly i don't really know it's it, if it, it says preheat the oven to 230 or 210 if it's a fan so i might do a little bit of quick research see what other people have done you know um for sourdough for bread bread mixes specifically um yeah, play and um, bake for 25 minutes. So let's have a look at how much it's risen. Let's go and get it. I checked it after an hour and a half and it hadn't risen much. So my dishwasher had finished doing its cycle. So I popped it in that because it was a nice, warm, very warm environment. So it's um, it actually, that helped. I mean, it's not, I thought it would be a bit bigger than that, but it's got bigger <laughs> yeah so let's get it out i'm just gonna move you so you can see yeah okay So make it, I've got to cut it in half actually. Um, and Liz, if you're watching, these, this is what this is also really useful for. So thank you very much for that. Right, let's do one at a time. So it said a rectangle. 
<laughs> I'm not sure I'm doing this quite right. Fold it in half, maybe like that. Oh no, that doesn't seem right, does it? Okay, let's try again. is a rectangle for the engine you pinch it together I'm doing this all wrong. That just looks odd. Well, that can go in the ninja because it's a little bit smaller than that one. Uh, yeah. So I've already lined the um, drawer. So I'm just going to put it in and just let it sit in there for an hour or two hours. Yeah, let's get them in and just see how they turn out in an hour or two. See you in a bit. Right, so the instructions say, uh, you know, place the loaf on the middle shelf and bake for 25 minutes uh, on 230 or 210. So what well, I've done a bit of research and people have baked bread at 150. So for a further 10 minutes, so it's 35 minutes for them. Oh God, place the loaf on the middle shelf and bake for 25 minutes. After this time, lower the heat to 200. So to, re to kind of replicate that, let's draw two. Oh, let's have a quick look. It has kind of got a bit bigger. In fact, it did say to put some slashes. So I'm going to try that. It's going to be, it's difficult one-handed, but. <laughs> it's. Yeah, well that might do it. Okay, it said dust with flour, but if I did that, the Ninja, uh, well, all air fries, they just blow it off, a lot of it off, so I'm not gonna bother. So, bake, um, let's do 170 for 15 minutes, and then 150 for fi another 15 minutes. Yeah, oh, this is completely winging it, but we'll see how it turns out. Right, now the Kasori. So let's have a look at that one. That has got a little bit bigger. Uh, let's do this slashing thing. I'm not sure that's quite enough, but hopefully. It's been in, the, in these drawers for a couple of hours. Yeah. Right, so bake. What's it? the ninjas at 170 for 15 minutes? So we're just going to replicate and then add some minutes after this. Let's have a quick check. Well, that's cooking. Um, when it hits zero, I'm going to turn it over and put it on at 150. Ooh, it's all right. Same thing. When it hits zero, I'm going to turn it over put it on 150 uh, the Fahrenheit will come up here right let's have a look so I'm going to turn it down to 150 
and add 15 minutes. Oh, it's hot, what am I doing? Okay, that's a kasori. Let's just do the same thing. Not needed as much, but you still need to turn it over a little bit. Right, uh, bake 150 for 15 minutes. See what that does. See you in a bit. Right, so everything's ended. I'll just get this out. There we go. Let's just turn it round. Yeah. Okay, and there we go. The Kasori one. Hold on. I think so. Let's get that out. It's slightly bigger actually, which is helpful for identifying. Right. I'm going to let these cool down and then I'm going to come back for a taste test. Yep, yeah, see you in a bit. Right, okay, let's cut a slice of each um, Ninja Kasori. I'm just going to get the ends off first. Let's have a look inside. Ooh, not bad. This is the Ninja one. Yeah, smells lovely, so I'm just going to put the end over there. That will get eat eaten, it's just I want it out of the way. a slice so I'm gonna halve that. I don't want to eat too much bread at the moment I've just had my dinner. <laughs> um, so that's a half that's the ninja. Let's just get this out of the way. Oh not bad either. Still warm so it's gonna be lovely with butter on. go all squishy this is a ninja one again yeah I'll just get these out of the way ninja kasori they look exactly the same <laughs> right I've got a little bit of butter this is gonna be quite delicious you can't beat butter on freshly baked bread <sighs> Mm, mm, mm. Right, ninja. Ooh. like a soy one. It's got a quite a chewy con texture. I'm not sure whether that's my, probably my kneading or it ru rubbery. Because I can't say that word, rubbery. Um, not not horrible. It's just just a bit. It, oh, it might be because it's out of date. Only by a few months though. Can't see how that could really. They taste exactly the same. They would do really, wouldn't they? Um, the crust is nice. I like that. I like a crust. Um, does sourdough have a special f taste? That's a particular f taste. That's what I'm wondering. Maybe that's what it is. It's just maybe alien to me. Hmm. Hmm.
maybe it's better to make it properly you know and these are it does say for ha machines and for hand baking but maybe making these properly would be the way to go it will get eaten though they will <laughs> they're, they're good enough toasted i bet they're a lot better but other than that it's, it seems um a bit, a bit rubbery <laughs> i don't know what that is oh well it's worth a try and i didn't it was good use of an out of date bread i wouldn't want to wait for i couldn't have thrown that away not in a million years um and so worth worth a go um but i wouldn't mind learning how to do it from scratch sourdough bread and i will if people have been asking me to make this sun-dried tomato the rosemary and sun-dried tomato fugas bread which is kind of like a focaccia um um, I, every time I go to Lidl, I look for sun-dried tomatoes, but they're never they're not in stock. They they haven't been stocking them, but I'll, I'll keep trying. <laughs> as soon as I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, I'm going to make that bread because that fougas bread, that was lovely, absolutely delicious, and I definitely want to make that again. Um, and I, I didn't make it for the channel, but it was part of a um, my spicy um, spicy lentil soup, and people were saying, oh yeah, please do make that for the channel. And so I will <laughs> but as soon as I get hold of some sun-dried tomatoes so thank you everybody for watching thank you to all my patreons um uh yeah and thank you for well just I hope we're, for those that made it to the end because <laughs> it won't be everybody and that's all right and if any, if any of you are interested in allotment gardening I've got my new channel plot 25 I will put a link in the description there's a, I've had some really good news today about that so that will all be coming in the future vlogs and they're daily Monday to Friday so anyway thank you again take care bye